My name is Harmony and I make videos about West Coast living and if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. So if you'd like, subscribe because I make things about um, Vancouver and just the area in general. So today we're talking about van life and by that I don't mean Vancouver but I mean like actual literal vans living in an automobile type of living. Hi. Okay, so hopefully this video can help you in two ways. First of all, if you're a person that's thinking about going and like living in a van, maybe this will give you an insight into what it's like. Maybe it can help you make the decision if you want to do it or not. Or if you're just a regular person and you're trying to plan a getaway near the Vancouver area for the weekend in your car or a van, hopefully we can show you some good places to go that will be fun for you and that you'll like. So this weekend we're living the van life. First of all, big shout out to my ex-boyfriend Pat for letting us borrow his van. Good Me, guy. Great guy. Me and current boyfriend Alex are taking it for my birthday and we're gonna go exploring um, around BC for the weekend and just kind of see where we end up. Maybe towards Whistler, we don't know yet. Hi. Okay. This is actually great because um, when me and Pat broke up, he was just finishing the van, so I never had a chance to actually like go out in it and like have a proper vacation or try. But now me and Alex get to take it and this is our first trip. So right, we can like, think it's not the way we used to be. We don't think about the things it took from me. I know that I am so much better. Better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart. When I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better. I keep choosing certain things that are among a particular theme. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? So one of the challenges that we faced when we were living the van life is it was really, really hard to find places to park. Um, it was really hard to find places where you wouldn't get fined or that you didn't need a, perm uh, a permit for. So that was definitely a challenge. One of the nights up in Squamish, we parked at this at this like campground where we assumed it was all right, and we ended up waking up with a warning on our windshield. It's not good. <laughs> I thought it was in the car. No. We got a note. Make sure if you're gonna go out and do that sort of thing, you are checking and making sure that you're not gonna get fined. I think he paid three thousand dollars for the van itself. You know how many forensic files I've watched where girls have died in the back of these? He put money into fixing it up a little bit, but then he spent um, a little bit of time building the bed frame. Uh, it's insulated, so then you can sleep outdoors like pretty much year round, depending on what province you live in. And to invest that little bit of money into a vehicle that you can then get years of enjoyment out of, like driving to any city, you can mm -hmm. sleep within the vehicle. It's so much fun to just like have this like little hangout on wheels that you can bring anywhere and just go. Yeah, to be fair, I've never built a van like this, but I feel like for the small amount of effort and time that it would take you to put it together, it's 100% worth it. Like, I want to do this. Oh, we will do it. <laughs> We're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> This is day two. As you can see, I haven't brushed my hair or anything because we woke up in the back. And um, today's pretty rainy, but we just went for breakfast and we've been looking into the van life and we've been researching. Um, there's a lot of companies where you can actually buy like Mercedes Sprinter vans and they completely renovate them for you. So if that's an option for a weekend retreat that you're looking for, I recommend looking into it. One of the benefits of living in a nomadic situation is just the amount of freedom that you have, knowing that you can drive anywhere and stay anywhere for the night. Any beautiful piece of land that you find or any lake, you can kind of just pull up to and call it home for the next like 24 hours or week or two weeks. So that's incredibly empowering and it's really inspiring to know that you can change your environment so easily and just kind of go wherever inspiration takes you. Because what is more iconic than just a road trip story and being free in nature and feeling like you have nothing to do and nowhere to be. That is the absolute best part about like van life or just even being camping or being out in the wilderness. Definitely. So this whole time for the past 24 hours we've been driving around looking for a place that we could chill by the water like this and we're actually like on our way back now but if you're looking for a place, um, if you're camping or if you have a van, this place is called Porto Cove and it's really beautiful. It's like in the middle of like all the mountains. Um, you have this gorgeous lake or seaway and generally it's just really gorgeous. And it's before Squamish, so it's really not even that far from there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we both look like campers. 
What I also find super interesting is like, look at the way the clouds kind of like graze through the trees. Another cool area that we explored was Brandywine Falls. And even though it's a pretty touristy destination, it is an easy excursion and it has really beautiful views. What are these falls called, baby? It might be Shishquap. It might not. All right. Don't quote me on that. A lot of the side trails are also less busy, so if you veer off of the beaten track path, you can find a lot of really pretty places that aren't swarming with tourists. What the actual stand? We're making a selfie stick. <laughs> Proper. <laughs> it's gonna work, okay. She's not sturdy, but she works. She'll give us the height we need to capture this view. I just hope it's at the right angle. I guess my love is for the ocean, not for you. helpful and you're looking for other information about Vancouver or just West Coast living, please subscribe, like the video, and comment below if you have questions or anything that you want to say or if you disagree with me because I like hearing what everybody else kind of thinks about these topics. Having only done this for 24 to 48 hours on a short little excursion, of course we didn't encounter all of the challenges and I'm sure there are more and we didn't get to experience all the benefits and there definitely are more. But what we did learn from this experience is Alex was incredibly into it and I think that in the near future we're kind of set on getting a van of our own. So thanks for coming by. I'm Harmony. Bye! I see this theme continuing. I don't know why. I just pick certain products. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weird. I don't know what it is. Strange. I don't know.